Hello everyone, it's Erica and welcome to my channel or welcome back. So I'm here today to review for you guys the Society Dress, which is a Gertie Charm Patterns review. Um, this is a Patreon pattern. I'm sorry this lighting is really funky today. Anyway, it's a Patreon pattern um, and every month uh, Gertie gives a new pattern on her Patreon. So this pattern is not available unless you are part of Patreon. Now let's say you don't want to join Gertie's Patreon. I have an alternative pattern for you that's available from uh, Sinclair Patterns called the Yasmin Dress. I've made it many times. I have talked about it on the channel. And I'm going to be comparing and contrasting what is the same and what is different about them. So this is my dress and I'm going to talk to you guys how I got here. So here it is. So this is the short knee length skirt. This dress is made for knit fabrics that have uh, quite a lot of stretch. I think it's 50 to 70% stretch horizontally and then no vertical stretch. I ended up using a double brush poly which does have some vertical stretch. This has a curved um, sort of V'd waistband midriff. It has gathers at the shoulders. Um, there's two sleeve options. There's a long bishop sleeve, and then there is this gathered puff sleeve with a pleat. Um, there is some light gathering in the back of the dress. And uh, overall, it comes together pretty easily. My center seam here is a little wonky, but I'm not sure what happened with that. But I, uh, I sewed it a couple times, and then I was like, you know what, it's good enough. So I do like this pattern. It also has options for a full length, long, dramatic dress and with a gourd skirt. And it also has well, a godet skirt, sorry. And then it has a hood option, so this big, luxurious hood. I'm going to move a little bit closer where I can sit down one moment. Yeah, this looks a little better. And you guys can see Jasper in his cat tree, which is always nice. So I, um, I measured myself for this pattern, and I came up the size 6 because of my bust measurement, which was, let me get... The measurements of the pattern. You'd think I'd never done this before. Okay, so Charm Patterns by Gertie Society Dress. It is part of their Society of Charm theme for this year's Patreon. Every year in Patreon, there is a new theme. Um, this dress I specifically made in order to be able to compare it with the Yasmin Sinclair dress, which as I said, I've made about 20 times. Um, and I will show you it in more detail. Here is some of Gertie's photos. Oh, isn't that gorgeous and the velvet? Um, these are the line drawings. As you can see, there's a hood, there's a bishop sleeve. So there's quite a few options. So according to my measurements, my high bust is a 30, two and a half. So there's either the 31 option for the size four or the 33 option for the size six. So I did the size six and then my full bust measurement is a 35. So I did the BC cup. I'm going to show you the test fit of that size on me so that you can get a better perspective of what size you might need in this pattern for you. Things. So my waist measurement fits the size four on this pattern. So this is the size four waistband. And that's what I used for this version. I just graded down. So things we, I notice the, um, this is a lot of extra fabric and it's, I mean, look at that, that's ridiculous. And it's quite a bit lower. So my good version, I ended up taking an inch out of the bust through here, not through the midriff, but through the bust. I just slashed it and went up an inch. And then look at my shoulder. You see how far that hangs off my shoulder? I took an inch out of the shoulder width. 
So then I did this second test fit, which I will show you now. And I sized down everywhere. So what I ended up actually making was the size four and the A cup. Now, according to Gertie's measurements, that should be the 31 inch bust. Okay, negative ease, whatever, that makes sense. But the A cup for the size four is a 32.5 inch bust. And mine is quite a bit more than that. And I'll show you, once I shortened the shoulder seam and shortened the bust line and went down a whole size, what this looks like. Full brush poly, that other one was ITY. This looks a lot better, right? It does. It does look better. It actually looks a little better than the one I made into a dress because of the darker color. But as you can see, there's still a lot of fabric involved with this, a lot of extra and excess. So I will show you the dress that I have from Sinclair that I feel fits me better and does this better. Although they don't do the sleeves as well and you don't get the cool hood. Okay, now let's look at the bodice fit on this. This is the Sinclair Yasmine dress. As you can see, while it does drop a little bit lower on the bust, that is that curved seam and that's how that seam's supposed to sit. It has gathering, but not a ton of gathering. It lies a little bit more flat against my body. It's a little bit more of a trim shape and silhouette. Um, this is a little cap sleeve. The sleeves that come with this are not, are not like as interesting as the Gertie sleeves. They're just not. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll pull up the Yasmin dress so I can show you guys the line drawings. Sinclair does now offer some add-on sleeve packs and the Yasmin is one of the dresses that can use those packs, but it's as dramatic um, as the Gertie one at all. So let me get this up. So here is the line drawings. As you can see, there's a sleeveless, there's a long sleeve, and then I cut this off as a short sleeve, and there's the finished dress. Um, now, there are some key differences to this this has a grown on facing. So here's this little facing bit and it's just sewn down. It's part of the pattern. It just folds under and you sew it down. So let me grab the Gertie dress and show you this. This has a facing facing. It's supposed to be interfaced, like it's supposed to interface the facing piece. I didn't do that because the only interfacing I had was black and it would have shown right through the dress. But as you see, I tacked mine down by hand in a couple places because this facing wants to flip out pretty much constantly. It is just like, bing, here I am. So I'm gonna put a sweater on guys because I'm freezing. Um, it's pretty cold today. This is my Belladonna sweater by Untangling Knots, which unfortunately is a discontinued pattern, but I really like it with this dress. I was trying out something new because I wanted those sleeves on the society dress. But honestly, for me as a B cup petite person, for my frame, I feel like the Yasmin Sinclair dress is a better fit for me. And I'd rather just continue to half the sleeves and do creative things to the sleeves rather than trying to work to make the Gertie dress fit me better. Could I go down another size? Probably, probably I could go down to like the two B cup and maybe get a better fit. But if I already have something that works for me, what's the point, right? I mean, I do feel like getting a pattern right is important, but I also think that when two patterns are this close, there's no point in not just using the one that works for you. So my bottom line is if you are a Gertie Patreon subscriber, definitely try the society dress. You don't need to go get the, Yasmin, the Sinclair Yasmin dress. 
If you already own the Sinclair Yasmin dress and you're not a Gertie subscriber, you don't need the Society dress. It's kind of one or the other. If you are a fan of Gertie's patterns, of how they fit you, there's an excellent video showing you how to do everything. And while the Sinclair Patterns tutorials are very good as far as the directions that you get with the pattern, um, it's not going to hold your hand and walk you through like Gertie does. However, if you don't need that and you are a smaller bust cup, like I'd say if you are an AB bust cup, the Sinclair Patterns are already kind of AB to C. I'd say they already are kind of drafted to fit you and you don't have to play with sizing. In the Sinclair dress, I will show you, I'll tell you my size to illustrate my point because I think that if you're using the fabric a pattern is written for, which I am, I am using a stretch fabric with 50 to 70% stretch, then I shouldn't have to play around with my sizing on the size chart. I should be able to, maybe I'm spoiled by indie patterns who write in knits all the time. But when I go to my indie patterns, like Pattern Emporium, like Sinclair, like Wardrobe by Me, I can just make the size they say based on my measurements. And if I'm using the correct stretch fabric percentage, it will fit me or come close to fitting me. Now, obviously that was not the case with the Gertie pattern. So here is the deal, sizing in inches. So in Sinclair, they go with a full bust measurement. I do it based on my upper bust measurement. I always base everything on my upper bust measurement. I don't have that much going on to ruin that. <laughs> and for me, because I'm pretty petite in my, sh like in this area, like my shoulders are broad, but like this little area is small and narrow and my rib cage is narrow. So I do the upper bust measurement, which means I would use the US two, which is 33.1 inches. My waist is 26 inches, which puts me in the four. And then my hips are like 35.4, which puts me in the size two. So what I do is I make the size two in Sinclair patterns. I grade out to the four in the waist and then I grade back down to the two and that works really well. They also say that this is drafted for a cup size B to C. Here's where this falls apart. Let's say you're a size two in Sinclair, but your cup size is like a D or an H or something. Well, they don't start doing larger cup sizes until their size 10, which is a 38 bus. And that's only a CD. And then you don't get DE cup sizes until you're a US 20, which is a 48 bust. So if you have an ample bust, then the Gertie pattern is gonna be 200% better for you. You're not gonna to have to do a full bust adjustment. You can just figure out your size in Gertie, size down because it's a knit, and Bob's your uncle, you're making a dress. So I hope that this was helpful for you guys. I hope that you try this sort of midriff style with the V-neck. I think it's an amazing, easy to wear 1940s inspired look and if you guys want to see some of my process for how I have changed my sleeves on the Yasmin over the years please let me know I would love to do that all right thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye